Hello everyone, this is JV back again and welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, we are going to have another episode of What's Your Pre-Med? So if you guys are new to my channel, I am JV and I'm a first year medical student from St. Luke's Medical Center, College of Medicine, William H. Quash Memorial. Yes! So if you guys don't know what this series is all about, this is all about your pre-medical courses. This series aims to help those who are currently in senior high school pick which pre-med is best fit for them. And for those of you who are currently in undergrad or university, this should help you maximize the potential of your guys' pre-medical courses in terms of applying to medical school or surviving medical school itself. But before we continue, I hope that you guys can subscribe to my channel and like this video afterwards and leave a positive comment down below if you want. So for tonight, I'm very happy to say that we are going to have a member of Team Pyamed talk about Pharma as a pre-med course. Are you guys ready? Let's go! Hi, she. Hi, JV! Okay, so ano, bago tayo magsimula, I want you to introduce yourself muna. Okay. Hi, I'm Sheila Marie Arojo, a second-year medical student from the University of the East, Ramon Magsaysay. Okay, so let's move on to the what's your pre-med questions, Naki. So first question, what's your pre-med and where did you do your pre-med? I am a graduate of BS Pharmacy from the University of Santa Cruz, USD. Ah, yes, go Ustez. So, what's the most common track for your course after graduation? Well, the most common track for our course, so, uh, usually kasi yung mga UST pharma graduates talaga, more on ano sila, manufacturing, regulatory, ganun, uh, uh, academe, hospital pharmacy, ganun. And community, of course. Hindi mo ah, okay. So, uso ba sa inyo yung ano, pumunta sa med or hindi, masyado? Nung na-undergrad ako, mas maraming ratio pumunta sa med. Mas ah. maraming uh, decidido mag-med, gano'n. So, eto, did you know that you were gonna go to med na before choosing pharma? Uh, no, high school, medyo parang pasulyap-sulyap na parang gusto mo maging doktor, ganyan. Pero mas na-strengthen nung nag-college. Kasi syempre, like what I said, yung ratio nga, mas maraming mag-med. So, nung nandun ako, na-condition na din ako na parang, ay, gusto ko din mag-med. Ganon. <laughs> so, um, why did you choose pharma? Well, it's very cliche and feeling ko maka-relate din yung mga pharma na manano dito. Pinili ng parents ko. Totoo <laughs> ba? <laughs> yung mga nakakala ng classmates ko pag tinatanong ko sila, bakit ka nag-pharma? So, pinili ng nanay ko eh. Well, totoo. Yun, Gosh, parang hindi yung common. Pero ah. sige, to answer, bakit so, ako nag-pharma? Una kasi, nasa isip ko, pag nag-doctor ako, which is consultant, kailangan marami ako alam sa gamot. So, kung ano yung re-prescribe ko, kung ano ba yung function itong gamot. Kasi parang doon din umiikot yung, ano eh, yung pag-med ko, yung sa mga gamot, gano'n. Okay. Um, so, why did you decide to go to med naman? Ah, noong una, syempre, lagi naman passion, di ba? Lagi natin may isip passion, talaga passion. Tapos, second, uh, na-condition ako ng, ng pre-med course. Third, na-inspire. Na-inspire ako, like, Ewan ko, ang weird. Kasi nung bata ako, gusto ko sa ospital. Gusto ko amoy ng ospital. Gusto ko yung, yung ambience na ospital. Totoo. Totoo talaga. Kasi ito super weird. Um, nung nag, nung nag farm ako, undergrad, na ano na ako, naingganyan ako sa mga series. Alam mo ba yung Grey's Anatomy? Talagang yun yung ano, nag, okay, magmamed ako. Gusto ko din talaga. Ayun. Ganun. <laughs> So let's go naman to pharma as a pre-med. So how did your course help you naman in your med application pa lang? Okay, med application. Nakatulong ba sa akin yung tanong? Mm, siguro nakatulong kasi nung nag-UERM ano ko, UERM application, which is sa UERM naman talaga yung in-applyan ko din eh, uh, ang department na nag-interview sa akin, pharmacology. Mm. Though hindi ko alam ko nakatulong siya sa akin kasi uh, sa channel ko, recon ako. Nag-recon ako sa UE. Mm. So, ayun. So, di ko lang kung nakatulong. Pero, sana. Sana may hata. Ah, okay. Sana. Siguro naman, kasi like, pharma is considered um, parang 
A hardcore, ganyan. So, parang baka nakatulong. Uh, yun yung naging problem ko kasi sobrang hirap nung undergrad ko. So, yung jiwa ko, kailangan ko talagang itaas, ba diba? So, parang medyo struggle din. Medyo. Okay, so let's go naman na to yung advantages of pharma nung nasa med ka na. So, can you think of any? Okay. Oh, let's talk about subjects first. So, nung pharma ko, meron kami Fisho, Fisho and Anna. Fisho and Anna is the one subject doon. Fisho and Anna, Micropara, Biochem, um, and of course, Pharmacology. So, when I went to med school, first year, um, Physiology, talaga yung, talaga yung nagpatingkyo ako sa Pharma. Kasi sa Pharma, um, kailangan strong yung foundation ng Fisho eh. Kasi before you go to Pharmacology, kailangan mo muna alamin kung paano nag, nag, nag-function yung body mo, di ba? So, nung first year kami, doon talaga kami tumuto. So, nung no nung second year ako, so no na first year med ako, sorry, mas na-enjoy ko yung fisho kasi para ako nagre-recall. Hindi naman sa lahat, pero alam mo yun, parang familiar ako, di ba? And next siguro, biochem. Sa biochem naman, um, uh, medyo, medyo malayo eh. Kasi sa akong biochem ng pharma is more structures, ganyan-ganyan. Pero ang siguro ang nag-pattern sa med and pharma is yung mga pathways. Glycogenesis, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, yung mga ganyan. At least familiar. And next, siguro, ano, ito, pharmacology. Talag- kasi ngayong second year ako, mga classmates ko sinasabi nila, ang hirap ng pharma, parang one of the hardest subjects. And sa UERM kasi, pharma yung second highest component. Hindi ko alam sa ibang med schools, pero sa UERM yun yun. Ano. So, if pharma yung undergrad ko, nakatulong siya kasi at least, ano yun, at least familiar na, at least gano'n. Ang hirap kasi talaga, mahirap din. So, another advantage for me is, how I cope up, siguro. Kasi alam ko marami talagang mahihirap na pre-med courses and I consider pharma din as one. So, nung nasanay na ako na binububog na quizzes, sleepless nights, alam mo yan, alam naman mo yan, hindi yun. Nasanay ako kasi pagdating, parang siyang, parang pagdating mo ng med, at least times two na lang, ganun. Parang medyo, ano mo na, accustomed ka na dun sa kulturang ganun, parang ganun. So, ayun, for me, yun yung advantages niya. Mahina kami anatomy. <laughs> okay, so since you kind of mentioned the mahina na kayo sa anatomy, let's talk about the disadvantages naman of your course as pre-med. Okay, since nabanggit ka na yung anatomy, oh my goodness gracious lord! <laughs> Nung nag-anatomy ako, like parang, oh, bakit? Bakit walang ganito? Hindi, ka, hindi namin siya tinutukan ng pharma eh. More on physio talaga eh. So, disadvantages ay yung anatomy. Eh, ang anatomy may prerequisite yan. Surgery, neuroana, syempre nang mahihirapan din ako dun. Kailangan ka talaga magigay ng extra effort. Ah, uh, another disadvantage. Hmm, siguro ano, nung undergrad ako, hindi ako masyadong exposed sa mga patients. Wala akong patient interaction, kulang yung hospital exposure. Kasi internship namin, more on talagang sa botika ka, sa ano ka, office ka, gano'n, gano'n siya. Mas konti yung patient interaction and experience sa hospital. Yun yung nakikita ko sa advantage. Okay, so eto, how did you handle naman yung mga disadvantages na yon nung nasa med ka na? Alam mo, um, ito, ito magandang advice ko sa mga mga kanood ngayon. Uh, yung pagdating nyo lahat sa med, pagdating nyo lahat sa first year, lahat kayo parang back to zero eh. Ganun. Kahit anong pre-med, parang mafe-feel mo talaga back to zero kasi kanya-kanyang disadvantages nga, diba? So, ako ang ginawa ko, mas magbigay ka ng extra effort dun sa mga subjects na hindi mo masyadong gamay. Mas paglaanan mo ng aral, ganun. Minsan, hinuhul- minsan pag yung gamay ko to, hinuhuli ko siya para bibigyan ko ng extra effort to. Parang ganun. So, ayun lang yung key. Mag, magbigay ka lang ng extra effort and time dun sa bagay na hindi mo advantage. Ayun, ganun. So, eto naman. Medyo may comparative tayo. So, how did you see yourself in med school as compared to other pre-med? Especially nung mga freshy days mo pa lang ganyan. Yung mga nag-take ng bio, psych, ganyan. Hmm. Yung una na, ano ba? Ano ba? Ah, uh, hmm, kasi parang alam yun, ang nasa isip ko kasi nun, kanya-kanyang advantages lahat. So, ko ako, sabihin ko okay ako sa fisho, pero manghihingi din ako ng tulong, kunyari sabihin natin sa PT, manghihingi ako ng tulong sa anatomy. Diba? So parang, nung 
how do I see myself? I see myself as someone na kailangan makipag-teamwork. Kasi hindi ko to kakayanin mag-isa. Ano mo yan? Uh-huh. Parang pag nasa med school ka, dapat hindi mo iisipin na, uh, ay, napag-aralan ko to, kaya ko to. Kailangan talaga yung need help. Talaga. So, alam mo yung natutunan ko sa med school, I have to like, parang lower my pride and ask for help. There's nothing wrong in asking for help. Parang ganun. Parang teamwork. Teamwork talaga para pumasa. Okay. So, eto. Would you recommend naman your course Pharma as a pre-med sa mga nagbabalak mag-take ng Pharma as a pre-med? Well, uh, yes. Na yes, na yes. Kasi, ewan ko, personally, I, I never even regret it na nag-pharma ako. If tatanungin niya ako, if mag-pharma ba ako for pre-med, yes, I would say yes. There's nothing wrong in taking pharma. And, uh, makakatulong siya. Makakatulong siya sa'yo sa med school in terms of familiarization. Kasi mostly, mga subjects din is nadaanan mo no undergrad na pharma. So, yes, for me. And, um, if you're that someone din na parang hindi ka pa decided mag-med, I'd also say na, go for pharma kasi in case in case na sa kalagitnaan ayaw mo pala hindi mo pala feel na magmumed ka at least yung track mo sa pharma is okay kasi pwede ka mag community pharmacy mag business diba mag research so stand alone din talaga yung course so I would recommend pharma okay ito so last question but not really a question so message to aspiring medical students currently in pharma or yung mga nag-iisip pa lang na mag med ganyan Okay, my message for those um, students who are currently in pharma, um, enjoy nyo lang yan. I mean, don't pressure yourself na kaya ako nasa pharma kasi magmamed ako, ganyan, ganyan. No, enjoy the process. Enjoy enjoy pharma. Kasi pagdating mo sa med, you'll think yourself na in-enjoy mo tong pharma. Because when you enjoy it, you'll never even realize the time. And you'll learn. Kasi ina-enjoy mo eh. And kahit mahirap, kahit mahirap, kaya mo yan. As in, just keep going kasi ganyan din ako dati and nakita andito na ako ngayon so kayo magiging dito rin kayo in the future and for those na nagbabalak mag-med or mag-pharma continue dreaming talaga as in ganyan lang din ako before and siguro si JV din ganyan din before we just want to enter med school and here we are now so kayo din kayo din just keep going and continue dreaming ayun okay thank you she so much for agreeing to this Yes. Thank you so much, Jamie, for inviting me. As in, like, this is a good platform then for those pharma students, right? So, thank you. thank you. So that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you guys learned something about pharma as a standalone course or as a pre-med. If you guys have more questions, clarifications, concerns, or anything at all, please leave them down below. And before you forget, click that subscribe button below. But before you guys go, I hope that you guys can subscribe to my channel for more What's Your Pre-Med. See you guys again soon. Bye, guys.